hey, I'm professional actor Ken Arnold. You might remember me from such roles as Paul Peterson in the indie hit Tomorrow Is Today, or as jogger number two in the highly underrated Hollywood classic, Random Hearts. In this series of videos, I'm going to give to you, the amateur actor, pearls of wisdom so you too may one day achieve the success I have found. Today's topic, the resume. Usually found on the back of a headshot, this information allows possible clients to know what you've done up to this point in your acting career. It lists your theater credits, your film credits, your vitals, such as height and eye color, training you may have received, special skills that are unique to you, and of course, your contact information. You know, I get asked this question all the time. Ken, I'm just starting out and I don't have any real experience. What should I put on my resume? Well, that's an easy answer. Lie. Make stuff up. But make sure you've got a full page of material here. Do you really think casting directors read these things? They just flip them over to make sure they're full. Oh, look, this person must be a good actor. Look at all the credits. So go ahead. If you want to say you co-starred with Johnny Depp and Pirates, do it. It'll look good. But I doubt a casting director will even read it. So don't worry. They're not going to catch it. Remember, they're going to hire you because your acting is so monumentally awesome that once you audition for them, they'd be complete fucking idiots not to hire you. And don't worry about neatness. You just make sure that page is full. As a matter of fact, handwrite it if you want. For you more experienced actors out there, you list everything you've ever done. From that elementary school play where you played a tree to that extra work where you walked by a tree. Remember, more is better, and casting directors are easily impressed by lots of credits, no matter how small. Next, and a pretty important section, is your ah, training. Remember, you really want to shine here. You list all the courses you may have taken, even that online Meisner course that you took back in 1995. Again, don't skimp here, make some things up. I believe the Royal Shakespeare Theater has a weekend workshop program. Put it on there. You can always take it in the future. Ah, um, ah, special skills. Now, this is where you separate yourself from the pack. And what's that? You don't have any special skills? Nonsense. We all have special skills. From playing sports, to squirting milk out of our eyes, to crowing like a Peruvian rooster. We can all do something unique. And if you really can't do anything unique, let's not forget our special friend, the lie. Isn't that a special skill? Professional basketball player, underwater welder, and neurosurgeon can all easily be learned online in one night of hardcore surfing. Oh, and one last thing. Your contact, your contact information, your personal, private, confidential information. You never, ever, ever, ever want to give somebody your resume without that information on it. Well, that's all the time we have for now, but join me next time when we'll discuss auditioning, or as I like to call it, why do I have to go through this fucking shit? See you on the big screen. Peace. Oh, I forgot I worked on Casablanca. <laughs> that Humphrey Bogart, he's such a kidder.